In this movie, I'd like to show you how to insert time or silence, measures or bars in a session. They all mean the same thing. That's what I'll do in this session. When you insert time in a session, all you're basically doing is adding measures or bars to the session. Now, it doesn't matter where you're inserting time. You could insert time at the beginning of a session, at the end of a session, in the middle of the session. It doesn't matter. When you insert time in a session, you do that in the time operations window. We'll get to that in a second. Insert time in the time operation window lets you insert an amount of blank time, which is silence, into conductor rollers, MIDI tracks, and audio tracks. Here's a good example when to insert time in a session. Let's say you're engineering a session and the producer says, can you add eight bars right before the first chorus? Your response should be what? Let's do it. Okay, so you're ready now to insert the eight bars right before the first chorus, which is going to be right here. I'd like to get to know you. He wants to insert better. eight bars right here. Better. Okay, so the first thing you want to make sure that, just make sure you set the main time scale to bars and beats. The main time scale is set to bars and beats because I already did that here. It's checked off here and it's also checked here. It's right here, bars and beats. Okay, so that's first thing. Now let's open the time operations window. To open the time operations window, you go to the event menu and click on time operations and click on insert time. Now the producer said, what did he say again? I think he said he wants to add eight bars before the first chorus starts. So the first chorus is starts at bar 22. So for the start time, we'll type in 22. That's where we want the eight bars to start counting from. And we don't have to put anything in end here. Pro, Pro Tools is smart enough. All you need to do is put them the total amount of bars the producer suggested. He said eight, so we're just going to put the total eight here. And Pro Tools will do the rest. Also, for the rear line section, make sure you this radial button here is checked. The button here is checked for meter, tempo, key, and chord rulers, because you want it to apply to all of these also. And then you go ahead and click on Apply. Now, what Pro Tools will do once you click Apply, it's going to add the eight bars from bar 22 over to 30, and it's going to push everything else to the right. Okay? Watch this live. That's it. That's how you get that happen. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see similar ones, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.